Okay, this is a fun video actually for me to make and it's one of those that I actually like sharing with you. Here we have to go to this website that I will leave a link in the description. It's Google Earth Pro, the desktop version. We're gonna install it and all that. You know how to do it. Now after you install it, you'll have Google Earth Pro on your desktop. This whole thing is free. I'm not paying anything because it is free by Google themselves. But what we're gonna do here today, for example, I don't know, let me, let me go to Miami just so we are in a place right and we are going to have fun with flight simulator yes you heard me right you could either click ctrl a and go directly in flight mode which will take you right here as you see but i prefer to go with the other way to do it which is exit from here go ctrl alt and a so then you can choose your airplane you can get an f-16 or an sr-22 i obviously will go with f-16 there's no other way you can either go from current view and fly over where you are right now or choose one of these airports here to fly from in my case I'm going to go with the uh, current view right here and we're going to hit start flight before we do that you can fly with either with your mouse, with a joystick, with a controller, or with your keyboard, with the arrows, however you like, you can fly. I'm gonna start the flight here, let me get the nose higher, I can, let me cut, uh, good, we're just gonna fly a little bit, just for fun, and as you see, it is really beautiful, wow. Let me go a little bit lower, so we can uh, see the houses and see what's going on down there, as you see, since we're in an F-16, we can go quite fast if we want to, and we can see some uh, 3D buildings right there by the water, look at that. This is beautiful. Look, and well, what the beauty of this is, in my opinion, is free, first of all, and it doesn't require to have a mega super great graphics card. I mean, of course, you're not going to be able to play it on a potato, but with a decent normal laptop or PC, you can have fun with this one just flying over just to kind of not get bored. And in my opinion, this is really a beautiful option to have because you're not paying anything. Well, now, yeah, of course, now it would make it better if you had a flight simulator from Microsoft. And I'm sorry if you're getting dizzy right now. I'm just testing this joystick here, how it works on our flight. Let's go towards the water somewhere just to see what happens when we do it. That may straighten the airplane just a little bit better. And as you see, it works really beautiful. I mean, you can't make this up. And I had no idea this even existed. Seriously, I did not know. I just learned it probably, I don't know, a few days ago. And yes, I have been having fun ever since seriously a beautiful beautiful feature here for free on google earth oh look we can uh we can fly upside down this is not advisable for anybody that's a real pilot because a real pilot would not do that unless you're in training or doing agile flight then yeah you know what you're doing but for us the regular people we we better learn to fly the straight way first <laughs> how it's supposed to be and as you see it's seriously quite good now, the details of the terrain are not as perfect as uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, as you see, but you can make do with what you have here. You can't complain. It's free. It's, it's pretty playable if you like having fun flying. And yeah, not all the countries, unfortunately, are going to be uh, 3D mapped like you see here, these buildings. These are 3D maps, but we are talking about going towards downtown Miami right now, and it's a major city. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why it is mapped in kind of a 3D, not really the best, but you get the point. And, uh, but you can fly over mountains. Most of the mountains worldwide in what I've saw so far are 3D map. So that will work. And this is just beautiful. Let's go to Cuba. Probably <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> We're going to the Keys just to visit some, some friends down there. What's going on? Okay. Let me, uh, go upwards just a little bit. 
and see what can happen when we go really really high wow the ocean looks pretty pretty okay i would say right it doesn't look that bad actually and we're still talking about free stuff here huh? we can't really complain as you see we're not far from the coast and let me see how much higher we can go we are at uh, 5100 let me go a little bit higher oh yeah let's uh let's find the the, the top of this not bottom uh, we are just a little bit higher at this point it doesn't seem that high but it is actually quite high it looks pretty okay i mean some of the maps could use some better loading but well keep in mind it's still free huh? you're not paying anything let's see if we can go at uh, 30,000 feet really quick uh and now it's stalling yep okay so we are at 16,000 something and it started stall that's kind of the maximum you're gonna expect from here but that's not bad that is seriously not that bad as you see you can see the whole land here and all that and it's giving us the warning to take it easy take it easy here let me cut there okay so a bit good actually it works pretty good i i i'm really surprised it, it i don't know what to say except for it's really beautiful and and as you see, you can fly and really have some fun with it. You can fly over your own house if you wish. So, if you know how to find it. <laughs> Look, I'm really close, and if an F-16 was really this low, with this speed over these houses, they are not gonna hear the TV for sure. Especially when I pass by them. Well, probably quarter mile after i pass them here's the church and uh we're gonna go to west florida now just for fun i'm not gonna bore you with that i'm actually just joking i'm not going to west florida i will probably close the video here in a moment but i'm just having way too much fun actually why don't we fly somewhere that probably may not may be less heard okay let's exit here yes, since i mentioned it myself okay and let's go fly near antarctica why not right okay, let's go down here probably, probably this is not bad here it will look probably really bad don't expect anything great ctrl alt and a again f16 current location star up not letting me go up actually this was cut that now i up okay so now we're in antarctica looks pretty good i mean it's antarctica it's not exactly super highly accurately map this is not bad at all let me go a little bit closer to these mouse see what's going on there say hi to the penguins why not okay so now we are going somewhere we're flying over these beautiful mountains near antarctica actually this looks more fun than uh, when we were in the city maybe it's just me but this looks much more fun and now i'm getting really some bad ideas to fire up my flight simulator uh, uh microsoft flight simulator and uh go over antarctica i never really thought of uh doing that i don't know have you guys tried that on flight simulator on microsoft flight simulator i'm still talking about try have you tried uh flying over antarctica if that's even possible because that would be really interesting oh look at the waves that's uh that's nice so you can see underwater what's going on there now all google needs to add here in my opinion that's still just my opinion since they added a flight simulator i wish they added a tiny little submarine simulator that would be a lot of fun to go underwater but i I don't think it's all mapped underwater. That might be a problem. Yep, good enough for me. Okay, look at that. See, beaches in uh, Antarctica. It's totally doable. Look at that. We can actually see the snow and all the good stuff here. We're cutting a little bit too low, but that's intentional. The mapping is actually not bad here in Antarctica. Look at that. It has quite a lot of detail. I don't know what slid there. That. That's something interesting. Oop. Uh, I cut it a little bit too fast, but you get the point. Not an F-16 pilot. I wish, though. Look at those lines there. Those look interesting. Look at that. I don't know what those are supposed to be. But just snow probably piling up on each other. Look at that. Yeah, that's definitely almost like a mini avalanche. Wow. Okay, I can definitely spend hours and hours and hours doing this i am serious i'm i'm not joking when it comes to flying i can spend hours on this stuff well to me anything that flies or drives crazy fast and it seems like open world yeah i'm in that's why I like uh, GTA 5 so much. Because I can do all those things in an open world. And now we're going towards some pixelated mountains. Right there. Let's get back to the normal mountains. But yeah, 
guys fly over your favorite city now straight from google earth on your desktop or laptop or whatnot and have fun this is actually a lot a lot of fun and with that said i hope you enjoyed this video we will see you next time bye